I was always a football fan, but I didn't know it was going to be quite to this e extent. You know, having um, a husband play football is one thing, but having these two sons in the NFL has really been pretty incredible. Wow. We're, we're so proud of them because, um, you know, they're doing something that they absolutely love, and I think they're doing it pretty well. We couldn't be prouder, and as any parent, just happy for your child to be doing something that they adore. They didn't get any of their um, athletic abilities from me, but I went to all the games and had lots of fun doing that. <laughs> Archie always says parents should sit on the top row and keep their mouths shut, so that's kind of how we approached it. Now, we let the coaches do their job, but we were, we were there just to support the, the kids. Eli's just always been Peyton's kid brother. Uh, no real rivalry, you know, never really played too many games with each other, against each other, just even out in the yard, but very close. Yeah, and you can see how much closer they are now that they're sharing the same role as NFL quarterback. Peyton was almost like the perfect child. He, my oldest son would always get in a little trouble, and I think Peyton would kind of see that, and he wanted to do everything just right. And Eli, being five years younger and the baby, Peyton always said, we let him get away with too much. We, we eased up on Eli, but no, they were good kids. They really were. We never had any, any trouble with them. Well, something that came up a lot during this, um, these weeks that led up to that opening game when they had to play each other, They're, they had a little rivalry uh, as Eli got a little older and a little taller. In fact, he was about as tall as Peyton, and they did go out in the back and, and have a, a heated basketball game. Uh, and Eli dunked on Peyton to win the game, and I don't think Peyton spoke to him for about a week. But Archie took the goal down after that because he was afraid they were going to get hurt, <laughs> have knees blown out. So he removed the goal from the best, from the backyard after that. What was it like as a mother when Peyton and Eli went head to head on September 10th at Giant Stadium? It was just an incredible day, and looking back on it, uh, I really should have enjoyed it more, especially now that I know the outcome. And I felt like they both did so well, and. You know, it was a close, exciting game, but um, just the pride that I had looking down on the field and seeing both my boys out there at the same time. And, and then after the game, Peyton sort of taking that big brother role and, you know, patting his, his kid brother on the shoulder. And Peyton was proud of Eli that day. He really was. He had never seen him play in person. So I was just um, so excited to be a part of it. It was an, an experience we will always remember. Would you like to see your two sons playing head-to-head -head for the Super Bowl this February on CBS? I'd take it. <laughs> I would, just to have them in the Super Bowl. I really would. Yeah, I can handle that now. After going through that first game, I can, I can handle that.